Now at five, kill the buggers. Oh, that's so harsh, but it's true. That mantra from just about everyone when it comes to the outdoor epidemic that is now the spotted lantern fly. Yeah, their looks are deceiving, but these beautiful insects are indeed plant killers. Now at their peak, officials say if the population isn't controlled in New York, it could cost the economy $300 million a year. The solution? A kind of death penalty that in this case mm. has no controversy. Here's meteorologist Danny Beckstrom. We've been talking about the spotted lanternfly, but you might just be starting to see them in your neighborhood. So here in New York City, SLF is really at its peak. It's reached the adult phase, and the challenge, as I said, that we face now is protecting urban gardens and farms. The message remains clear from experts. This nuisance invasive species isn't a danger to you, your family, or your furry friends, but the spotted lanternfly's palette preferences include a major moneymaker. SLF could have a drastic negative impact in New York State on agriculture of perhaps up to $300 million annually, and that's mainly the grape and the wine industry. So how can we help? We do certainly encourage everybody to continue to either step on spotted lanternfly to get rid of it. I've seen people with shop vacs or portable uh, backpack vacuums or even a little handheld vacuum to remove the nuisance insects. Here we have uh, a circle trap, and this takes advantage of the behavior of spotted lanternflies. This is a sticky trap, and this is a really simple way to uh, trap the spotted lanternfly. And now the eggs. The spotted lanternfly lay eggs mid to late September, withstanding the cold winter temperatures that the adults cannot, posing the risk of being transported long distances if stuck to things like cars, camping gear, lawnmowers, or luggage. You're looking for about an inch, inch and a half uh, uh, gray, looks like putty. On the uh, on the car, so it can be tough. So don't forget to scrape the eggs and stomp the adults, because the more assistance we give, the slower that spread is, the more time we have for that research that's taking place at Cornell. Danny Beckstrom, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.